Hey, it's Katy Perry, and you're watching Fuse On Demand. Get it when you want it. You know, one of my fondest memories about Christmas is me, my brother, and my sister leaving church. Uh, you know, we lived in the Bronx. It was like right off the Grand Concourse, and it, it started snowing while we were in the service. And then as we were leaving, you know, we decided to walk home, and we were like skipping the three of us through the snow to get home. That's a nice painting, actually. <laughs> Let's get Norman Rockwell, but I think he passed away a while ago. <laughs> I'm yeah. all about the Christmas spirit. Mason loves Christmas. Mm -hmm. I sing like Christmas carols before Christmas starts. And you watch so. that movie, the Christmas movie. I'll shoot your eye out. I bust out all my favorite Christmas movies. Scrooged, I like that one. Friday After Next Friday, that's a good one. Die Hard is a good Christmas movie. Lethal Weapon, all right? See, people don't think about that these as Christmas movies, but they are. Holiday treat that I gotta have every year is, uh, I, we're from Ohio originally, and me and Matt are in uh, Buckeyes, you know what those are? They're like balls of peanut butter that you dip in chocolate, and my folks, my mom makes pretty good ones. My wife's grandma always mails us this huge thing, and I don't know how they keep through the mail. Yeah. But they do. The magic of Christmas. It's the magic of Christmas yeah. coming to life. Yeah. Eggnog milkshake. Eggnog oh, milkshake from the McDonald's. Oh, oh eggnog so is disgusting. I'm, I'm an eggnog oh. fan in general. Have you ever had the Southern Comfort eggnog? I don't want any eggnog. So That's good. Just, so good. The word nog just turns me off. <laughs> <laughs> I drink. I'm from California, so Christmas to me is sunshine and In-N-Out Burger. So. And the beach. And the beach. Skateboarding. And pizza yeah. and Ninja pizza. Turtles. Yeah, yeah. Calabunga, dude. And the OC. Christmas treat. I, I drink a load of eggnog. Seriously, I love eggnog. One famous person, uh, I would like to give a little kiss to Rihanna. You I think I lived that. I mean, Rihanna, I mean, I was just backstage and the Rihanna video came on. She's in my mind. Our lips One go person? well together, Rihanna. Michelle Pfeiffer <laughs> oh. in Scarface. Oh, oh, that's sick. You go back to the time. Yeah, I mean, I'd like her to come down the elevator right to the mistletoe and make out with me. Megan Fox. Megan Fox, for sure. My wife knows that. It's OK to say that. Uh, Gwen Stefani. I don't even have to think about it, without a doubt. I'll just pick Christina Applegate, because that works. That's easy. But as Kelly Bundy. I, you know, if we could bring Marilyn Monroe back from the dead, that would be sweet. <laughs> See, I'm that kind of guy that I want to start decorating by September, and I don't want to tear it down until March or April, the tree. So I have to convert to a fake tree because otherwise the needles will be on the floor by October 3rd for me because I'm totally like diehard Christmas guy, you know? I, I had a I had a ficus tree that like I decorated for like one Christmas just to throw some lights on. Those lights are still on that tree and this was I think 98 or so. So it's been almost a decade or more than a decade, yeah. I actually have them up all over my house. <laughs> it is a winter wonderland year round. <laughs> That's actually true. You have your Thanksgiving mailbox thing on there too well, that's, that's been on I'm there for two years I, I keep forgetting it's there yeah. <laughs> that's the only way reason i know how to get to your house is i just look for the mailbox <laughs>